Hello friends, welcome back. In one of my previous tutorials, I had demonstrated how we could use AI to generate Excel formulas within the Excel sheet. I have now extended the same spreadsheet and now we can generate pivot tables and graphs in the Excel using AI but without ChatGPT and Copilot. Sounds interesting? Without wasting any time, let's begin with the demonstration. This is my Excel spreadsheet. It has some data and you see I have created this pivot table and the pivot graph. The traditional way to create these kinds of pivot tables and pivot graphs would be like we'll have to go to the insert menu, uh, select the pivot table option, select the range and the pivot table will get created. Now with the help of AI in this spreadsheet, I do not need to perform all these steps. What I'll do, I'll just provide a prompt in simple English language and it will create this kind of a pivot chart from the data which we are seeing. So let me show you that. So first of all, I will delete this existing pivot table and the pivot chart. Place my mouse cursor anywhere, like I will select any cell. So this is the cell where the pivot table will get generated. After that, I will go to this add-ins menu, then create pivot and here this option submit instruction. When I click on this, it asks me to provide some prompt. So here I will provide the prompt in simple English language. Create a pivot table for region versus sales. Important point to note over here is like the column region is here in the column D. So this should match exactly whatever else you want to provide in the prompt that is fine. But the column name should be exactly the same. Same applies to the next column, which is sales. Once I do that, I click on the submit button wait for a few seconds and here you see the pivot table has been generated along with the graph. We did not perform any manual steps, just provided the prompt in simple English and we see the pivot table and the graph generated. Let's take another example where we will see some more parts of AI which is embedded within this Excel spreadsheet. So if I need some kind of a pivot which shows me the monthly sales. You see this is a sales data and if I want to see monthly sales, so I have the date over here, but I do not have the month. So I will need the Excel formula, which fetches me the month from the date column. So to achieve that, I'll create this month column and write, no, not write the formula. Again, I'll use the help of AI to get the month from this date. So within this cell, I'll provide the simple English prompt like this. Start with the greater than sign. And this is my prompt. Cell A2 has a date. Please fetch me the month in MMM format. And then I hit enter and wait for a few seconds. And you see it has returned me February. So I'll just drag this formula down so that the month is populated for each of the rows. So this is AI embedded within this spreadsheet. It auto creates formulas. It also generates pivots. Now, as we come back to our problem statement, we wanted to see monthly sales data. I will take my cursor over here, select some cell here. In this case, it is N27. Go to add ins, create pivot, click on submit instruction, and now I'll provide the instruction any simple instruction like pivot table for month versus sales submit and there you go you get the pivot table along with the graph for the monthly sales data so by just using simple english prompts which accurately provides the column names we can generate these kind of basic pivots and this thing is not just applicable to one of the sheets like on any sheet like i have another employee data sheet over here, which has some details uh, regarding employees. If I want to create some pivot over here, I will just select any cell and go to add-ins and click on create pivot, submit instruction. So let me create one last pivot before we conclude this demonstration. So if I want to create a pivot, uh, which gives me the employee counts with respect to their status, whether they are on leave, resigned or active. So I could provide a prompt like this create a pivot table for status 
against employee id once again the status I, I have made a spelling mistake over here it should exactly match with the status column over here which is in column j and employee id is column a now i click on submit and here i get this pivot along with the pivot graph which tells me like there are 22 active employees 10 on leave 18 have resigned along with this chart so this was my presentation on how we can generate pivot tables and pivot charts using ai without using copilot the ai features which were presented are not generically available these i have created on my spreadsheet i am still in the process of enabling more and more ai features on this spreadsheet uh, through the comments please let me know what kind of more ai features would you like the spreadsheet i hope you found this presentation helpful if you like my videos i would request you to please subscribe to my channel so that you would be updated with the latest videos i would be uploading guys thanks for joining i'll see you soon